This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs> Frontier Red Hawk Basketball at Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game from Goodnote Gymnasium in South Deerfield. An independent matchup between the Palmer Panthers and the Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, this is Chris Collins along with Alec Eckel and Megan Self here at Goodnote Gymnasium. The Red Hawks coming off a big emotional Friday night win against the East Hampton Eagles on whiteout night. The return of Owen Morris did not go well for Owen or the Eagles as the Red Hawks but a pretty, pretty com Excellent content, excellent effort, excellent team contest effort against an East Hampton Eagle team that came in here motivated. But the Red Hawks put out together a really solid combined performance, led by 24 points from swingman Peter Carey, the power forward, who was unstoppable on the inside. He will have to be again tonight against the Palmer Panthers team that brings in some pretty good athletes to good no gymnasium. These teams are not strangers, either on the football field or on the basketball court. They play every year. And a lot of these names, like Jake Masterless and others, are names you hear a lot in a variety of different sports over at Palmer High School. So we're getting ready for the start of this one. The starting lineups about to begin. We'll go to the floor and get it going here at Good Note Gymnasium on a Monday night before Christmas here in 2019. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Panthers from Palmer High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Palmer, at guard, number four, Tyler Platanico. At guard, number 22, Nick Papasino. At center, number 42, Nate Latender. At forward, number 24, Chad Vigos. At forward, number 33, Jack Latender. Palmer is coached by Ed Anderson. Now for Frontier, at guard, number 10, Ian Spirits. At guard, number 4, Donovan Hoffman. At center, number 21, Owen Walkaway. At forward, number 12, Sean Richter. At forward, number 13, Peter Carey. From Gary's coach, by Ben Marchewski. The officials for tonight's game are Mark Ramoli and Adam Frenchman. Please rise for your glance. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. 
Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. All right, we are set to go here. Very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. This is the final regular season boys basketball contest before the Christmas holiday. And uh, I'll tell you, the performance they put together against East Hampton, if they can play that way every night against the Hampshire League competition this year, Frontier Redhawks are going to be in the conversation for a Western Mass title again, possibly uh, going deeper than that into the States, I think. Very, very well-rounded group of individuals and led by, of course, the power forward, Peter Carey. We talk about him a lot, but when he decides to go to the basket, he's almost indefensible at this, thing, at this point. At 6'10", And still, only a junior. He'll be jumping center with Nate Matender of Palmer. We play eight minute quarters here in high school basketball. Matender tucking in the shirt, getting ready to go. Officials talking it over with the timekeeper temporarily. He's not sure what the delay is about, but. Now we're set to go. Tip control by Frontier. Over to Ian Sperance, who gets the start tonight. Norman point guard Ethan Michon has a back injury. Occurred during the East Hampton game. Now we've got a reach in foul on the baseline as the pass was going into carry. And who are they going to get? It's going to be on Palmer. See what number they post. It's going to be on the tender. Jack Latender, his first team's first. And they lob it in to Hoffman in three point land. Right side it goes. Three point bomb put up. No good by Richter. Rebound controlled by Palmer. The tender has it now. Trying to drive through. Dishes it back off. The ball is loose, and we're going to have a foul. I think that that's going to be on Spirance. Went to the floor after that one. His first team's first non shooting. The Palmer will inbound underneath the Frontier basket. Mechanico to throw it in for the Panthers. He does jumper blocked by Carey, as that was Nate Latender. That's the first block for Carey, four in his last two games. Thrown in now to Jack Latender. Two Latenders out there, a Placanico and a Papancino. Three-point field goal by Papancino is good. And Palmer's on the board. Spearance down. Got a pass to Peter Carey. Carey's going strong with the basket. Pull-up jumper in the lane is good for two. 3-2 Palmer, seven minutes to go first quarter. He goes now with it to the tender. That's Jack. Jack jacks up a three and hits it. Well, big man can shoot from the outside too. Six two Palmer. Now with the ball, Spirance. Spirance with it. Bounce past the Donovan Hoffman, and we've got a whistle. Gets a uh, contact down low underneath, and they're going to get, I believe. Tyler Placanico for that one, his first team second. A non-shooting again. And underneath the basket, Sparrance to inbound it for Frontier. It's out to Hoffman, Hoff. Deep three for Hoffman, in front of the iron, no good. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Palmer. 
And pushed up ahead. Patino passes in the middle. Shot by the tender is no good, out of bounds. It'll stay with Palmer. The fresh shot clock. Placanico to throw it in for Pan the Panthers. He throws it in, now it's back out to Bigos. Handed back to Placanico. Placanico, trying to work to Bigos. Bigos, pull up jumper in the lane, off. Right hand side, no good. Rebound controlled by Frontier is Carey lets it go out of bounds. Spearings now bringing it up for the Red Hawks. Six minutes to go in the quarter. 6-2 Palmer with the lead. Bounce pass. Top of the key to Walkowitz. Walkowitz into Carey. Carey trying triple coverage. Back out to Walkowitz. Owen with the jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound ripped down by Palmer. Mechanico now with it. Drives left side, double pumps it off the glass, no good, carry the rebound. How about it's going back? Nicely done by the tender. Jack the tender goes up for two and steals it away. From Peter Carey, 8-2, Frontier trailing by six in this first quarter. Richter now with it, right side to Hoffman. Hoffman pulls it back, goes cross court to Spirance. Spirance top of the key to Carey, Carey got bumped Oh, no, he traveled. As coming through his Bigos, who interfered with him enough to force the travel. So Palmer playing some tough D, and Frontier looks a little flat right now. Ball thrown in to Papancino. Papancino for Palmer. Those left sides, back in the middle of the tender, off the glass and in. That's Nate Latender, and right now, Frontier is getting run out of their own building. 4.55 to go in the quarter. Hoffman now, top of the key. Drives through, bounces off, and it's going to be an offensive foul as Hoffman bounced off of Bigos. Bigos doing a good job wreaking havoc out there on defense and drawing a foul there, an offensive one. It's first on Hoffman, team second. 10-2, Palmer by eight, 4.47 to go in the quarter. Time on the floor, we'll take the break. Frontier's got to get something going here. This is Red Hawk Basketball, Frontier Community Access Television. Playback on, Palmer now with it. And Spirits having trouble in the backcourt. Panthers now with it. Papancino with it. Left side, three point bomb, front of the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Richter. Richter with the outlet pass to Spirits. Spirits to Hoffman. Off on the baseline and a little rainbow jumper goes. 10-4. Frontier trailing by six. Mechanico now with it. Runs cross court. In the corner it goes. And a nice jumper by Nate Latender is good. And the lead back up to eight. Barron's now with it. Left side to Peter Carey. Carey, upside to Richter. Richter for a deep three. Spins out, no good. Ten to the rebound. Outlet pass to Placanico. Placanico loses control driving through. Richter comes away with it. Richter on the break. Pull up jumper, uh, no good. Skying for the rebound, out of bounds it goes. And we're going back the other way. So into the game for Frontier is Jake Haneski. Mechanico now with it. Goes left side, they lob it cross court. The tender picks it up. The tender trying to work on Carey. Takes it back out to Placanico. Placanico, jumper, just inside the arc, no good. Hoffman gets the rebound. Hoffman, that one to Haneski. Haneski. Right side to Richter, in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman for three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bigos. Outlet to Placanico, Placanico, left side it goes. Papancino for three is no good. Peter Carey the rebound, outlet to Haneski. 
And that's, ooh, almost traveled. In the corner to Gachinski, back out to Hoffman. Good perimeter defense by Palmer. Gachinski now for three. Good. Be good for Frontier to have him heat up from the outside a bit if he can. That cuts the lead to five. 12 7 Palmer. 2.20 to go in the quarter. Mechanico finds the seam. Maneski hit him on the way up, so Jake will get his first foul. Team's third. And actually, they're going to say he was in the act of shooting, so it will be. Out for Canico, the senior guard. First shot is good. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television by Webb's America's Arm Store, and attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Second shot does not go. Rebound pulled down by the Hawks. Aneski now. Running the point, top of the key to Peter Carey. Left side it goes to Gabe Gachinski. Gachinski to Hoffman. Hoffman up fakes. Back out to Gachinski. Gachinski for three. That one spins back out. And a little bump and run foul there by Trevor Hoffman as he collided with Bigos. That will slow down Bigos, but it'll be non-shooting. It's a second foul on Donovan. They may have to get him out of there. Mechanico now with it. And they are going to get Walkowitz back into the game. Mechanico drives through, shot partially blocked. Now they pass to Hoffman. Hoffman now with it to Aneski. Aneski runs it back across the other way to Carey. Carey in three point land. Drives the baseline and travels as he was well defended by Mechanico in the front and by Jack Latender in the back. So Walkowitz and Hoffman will take a seat with the two fouls. 1.29 to go in the quarter. And Palmer leads 13 to 7. Mechanico. Outside to Bigos. He's in the corner. With Papazzino back to Bigos. Papazzino top of the key. In the corner. The tender. Turnaround jumper over the top of Carey. Does not go. Tender battling for the rebound, stays with, gets it back, and Carey comes away and knocks it loose. Carey, moving go pass, and he traveled again. So that's three times Peter Carey's been called for traveling in this quarter, a far cry from what we saw the last game against East Hampton where he was unstoppable in that first quarter. This time he's been very stoppable by a tough Palmer defense. Placanico now with it. Dribbled off his own foot. Hits it back. Off balance jumper, no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Richter. Richter tried to go to Walkowitz and was out of his reach. Going back the other way. Relatively sloppy first quarter for Frontier and a pretty good first quarter for Palmer. Mechanica now with it. Crossing half court. He'll play oh, 34 seconds on the game clock. 22 on the shot clock. He goes with it now. And timeout Palmer. Oh, wait a second, no. Nope. They call a five second violation? I think they did. Didn't look like he was at the ball. No, they called a foul. That must have been away from the ball. Jack Latender gets his second foul. And Frontier has the ball. Shot clock is off, 22 seconds to go in the quarter. Aneski with it now. Comes back the other way. To Richter. Richter, bounce past top of the key to Walkowitz. Owen to Carey. Carey just inside the arc, drains the jumper. And that's a good way for the quarter to end. A relatively lackluster first quarter, but Frontier Contains the damage at the end of one quarter. It's Palmer of 13, Frontier 9. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business, software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. 
ExtremeNetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheswick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. About to start the second quarter, Frontier Red Hawks. Again, playing without their starting point guard, Ethan Michon, out with a back injury. Inspirance is uh, taking over the point. Aiden Hernandez now into the game for his first minutes for the Red Hawks to start the second quarter. Jack Latender now goes left side to Papasino. Nick Papasino with it. In the corner it goes to Latender. That's Nate. Nate now with it on the right elbow. Little look pass inside, can't quite get there. And it's stolen back. And pass knocked down again. So Jake Masterless is into the game for Palmer. Running the point now is Chad Bigos. Bigos, right side to a tender. That's Jack. Jack, a running one-hander, almost uncontested. As he goes in, he's got himself seven points already in this one. Frontier not really intense on defense tonight like they were against East Hampton. Surprising. Richter now in the corner it goes. Three-pointer by Hernandez is no good. Rebound pulled down by the tender. Outlet to Bigos. Bigos runs it cross court. Back in the middle to Jack Latender. Jack goes through, running hook shot. Does not go, but he gets his own rebound. Put back off the glass, no good. Masterless crashes the board for the rebound. Well, Palmer really is going after the boards aggressively in front here. Not really as aggressive on the glass as they have historically. It's an overall flat performance right now, it seems. Harvey Venny is into the game for Palmer. Spirance inbounds to Hernandez. And now Spirance will run the point for Frontier. Bounce pass to Carey in the paint. Perry, Carey, again, very well defended. Triple team could not get the ball up in the air. Amazing. Harvey Venny with it. If there are Hampshire League teams right now watching this, you can scout how to defend Peter Carey. And Venny went up for the shot long after the whistle. There was a block, but it didn't count. And there is a foul that has been called against Nate Latender. His first team's fourth. Spearance now with it. Right side to Carey. Carey. Back out to the circle to Hernandez. Hernandez to Spearance. Spearance, they're running a weave right now. Richter, pull up jumper. Air ball. And we're going back the other way. This is not what I think Ben Barshevsky expected. A bit of a letdown coming off that emotional win over East Hampton. They're in a dogfight tonight, though. Vigos now throws it over to Latender, who brings it up. That's Jack Latender. Pull up jumper, top of the key. Front of the iron, no good. Rebound, Richter. Richter with it to Walkowitz. Walkowitz up face, gets it back to Richter. Richter, left side to Hernandez. Cross court to Spirance. Spirance. Offensive foul. Actually, it's going to be on, yeah, it's on Spirance. So again, drawing the charge very well are the Palmer Panthers. That's two on Ian Spirance. He's going to have to come off. And Jay Kineski will come back into the game. 15-9, Palmer by six, 526 to go in the half. Back into the game is Placanico. Placanico to Masterliz. Also checking into the game for the first time is Gabriel Coleman. And a jumper from the elbow is no good. 
Ball knocked loose. And over to Jack Latender. Now to Harvey Venny. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. Five minutes even to go in the half. It's Palmer 15, Frontier 9. This is Red Hawk Basketball. Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eklund, Megan Self out here at Good Doe Gymnasium. Frontier Red Hawks trail the Palmer Panthers by a count of 15 to 9. Very exciting JV game, one at the buzzer, actually the, the last minute by the Frontier JV. They defeated Palmer 68-66 in a game. We saw the Palmer JV leading by as much as 15 or more points at one point during the fourth quarter. So a tremendous comeback for the Junior Varsity Red Hawks. Inbound pass to Pecanico. To Benny. Benny driving left side. Three-point bomb out of the corner. Spins out no good. Palmer's a bit flat shooting in the second quarter. And Hineski now with it. Hineski to Carey. Carey will spot up from three. No good. Not really his shot. Rebound control by Jack Latender of Palmer. Latender, pull-up jumper in the lane. And that hits. 17-9. Palmer by eight. Carey with the jumper, no good. Put back, is finally in. By Hernandez, that breaks a long drought for Frontier. 17-11. Volcanico trying to drive, blocked. Knocked away by Hernandez. Hernandez in the fast break, lays it up and in. So Aiden Hernandez providing a spark off the bench and the lead's cut to four. Mechanico now with it. Right side, it goes to Coleman, back in the middle, to Venny. Venny, top of the key with it. Gives it over to Jack Latendra. Latendra slips and loses his footing, but goes through and travels. Yeah, he didn't really recover from that slip at the top of the key. Tried to make something out of nothing. But that's called for the extra step. 3.27 to go in the half. Frontier now trailing only by four. They're down by as much as nine. Jay Kineski with it down. Top of the key to Walkowitz. Right side it goes to Richter. Richter, cross court to Kineski. To Peter Carey. Carey in the lane. Again, travel. Bottled up beautifully inside by the tender and by the two attenders, Jack and Nate. I mean, they've really done a job on Peter Carey and they forced him to travel four times in this first half. Benny with it now to Pecanico. Pecanico goes between the legs, top of the key. Right side to Coleman. Coleman spots up for three. This is badly. Rebound controlled by Palmer though. On the far side, Benny for three. That spins out, carry the rebound. Outlet to Haneski. Haneski to Carey. Left side, back to Carey. Top of the key. Richter for three. Book it! And just like that, Frontier is down only by one. 2.30 to go in the half. Mechanico, left side to the tender. Now Venny with it. Trying to drive the baseline, bounce pass. To a tender, back out to the other tender. This is Jack for three. Yep. He can shoot, I'll tell you. 12 points for him, two threes in this game. Maneski to Walkowitz. Walkowitz trying to feed carry on the baseline through everything. Going back the other way. So Frontier still in this one, as discombobulated as they appear to be. Trailing only by four with 2.02 to go in the half. Benny is out, and back into the game is Chad Bigos for Palmer. Mechanico with it. Mechanico, top of the key, tries to drive through. This is out to Nate Latender. Jumper from the corner is no good. Rebound controlled by Mechanico. Mechanico for three is an air ball. Kept in. Now a running one-hander in the lane by the tender is no good. Turn around, jump. I mean, Palmer is winning almost every one of these battles for rebounds. It's absolutely re amazing. It's 
especially given the height that's out there, you would think that Frontier would have been better at it in terms of the rebounding, but it's been all Palmer. That's Peter Carey's first foul, team sixth. And they're gonna check Gabe Guchinski back into the game. And we're gonna have two shots for Jake Masterless. His first one is good. Guchinski back out there and Aiden Hernandez has a seat. Aiden had a couple of good uh, minutes for Frontier. Second shot by Masterless does not go. Rockowitz the rebound. Outlet to Haneski. Haneski in the middle to Richter for three. Spins out. Rebound controlled by Pacanico. Pacanico driving through, running a jump shot, no good at the baseline with the rebound controlled by Palmer. Three pointer, no good. The tender goes after it hard. That's Nate. It's going to be Frontier Basketball with 107 to go in the half. And the Palmer lead back up to 5, 21 to 16. Vanesky with it. Right side to Kuczynski, top of the key to Carey. Carey got bumped into by Masterless, I believe. That's his first foul, team's fifth. Maneski to throw it in for Frontier. And they got a foul underneath. Let's see who they got. It's going to be on Coleman for Palmer. 16 foul. Maneski to throw it in. Gets it to Walkowitz. Walkowitz, top of the key to Richter. Rector to Walkowitz. Walkowitz trying to cut through. Running hook shot. Back of the iron, no good. And out of bounds. It's going to be Palmer basketball. Coleman will take a seat for Palmer. Mechanico now with it. To Bigos on the left side. Bigos falls down. Now, once again, Masterless drives through. Goes up strong. Fouled by Walkowitz on the way up. So Jake Masterless, a pretty good football player for Palmer and likes to play physical. Draws a foul the first on Owen Walkowitz. That's a seventh team foul, so we're going to be shooting from now on. First shot by Latin. He's no good by Masterless. He'll get one more. Hernandez back in. Richter sits down for Frontier. Masterless second shot. Does not go. Misses them both. Carry the rebound. Over to Haneski. Shot clock is off. 23 seconds left in the half. Maneski drives right side, gets it back. Maneski, Kuczynski, Kuczynski pushes it off. Cross court to Maneski. Three pointer does not go, and that is how the half will end. A quiet first half for Frontier, and a pretty good first half for the Palmer Panthers. The end of one half. It's Frontier trailing Palmer 21-16. Second half action's upcoming. This is Red Hot Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extrememetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. 
Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, the Frontier Red Hawks trail the Palmer Panthers by a count of 20 to 16 as we get ready to start the second half. Wasn't a great first half for the Frontier Red Hawks. They were a little bit lackluster and uh, defended. Peter Carey did Palmer very well, uh, forcing him to, holding him only to four points and forcing him to travel four times. So he has as many travels in the first half to Peter Carey as he did points. And they did uh, a real number on him in the middle, doubling up, tripling up and uh, seeing it rattling him a bit. So Frontier needs to get Peter Carey on track, I think. Uh, I think one of the bright spots of the first half of Frontier was the play of Sean Richter, who hit a three, and uh, also uh, Aiden Hernandez, who came off the bench and put up four points. Defensively, Palmer's been very, very strong. Like I said, keying on Carey very well. But the guy who's been shooting well for Palmer in this game has been Jack Latender. He is leading all scorers with 12 points, including two three-pointers and uh, seems to do a really good job handling the ball, as does the point guard, Tyler Flacanico of Palmer. He only has one point in the game, but has run the offense very, very smoothly. Palmer has a lot of talented players, it's obvious, but their shooting in that second quarter was not what I think it could have been. Otherwise, this might, have, might be a much bigger lead than it is right now, but Frontier's got to regroup. Again, they're playing without Ethan Michon, who has a back injury. He got injured early in that East Hampton game. We didn't see him come back into the game. And I was not surprised to see he was not in the lineup tonight because he has the back injury. Um, let's see Frontier get Gabe Gachinski into the game a little bit more in terms of the offense. Gabe, as you know, can shoot the three, and he has at least one three in this game. But uh, give Palmer credit. They've been defending the perimeter very well. And when they try and drop the ball into carry, they've been really confusing him and making him take the extra step which has led to, again, as many travels in that committed in that first half by Peter Carey as he scored points. He had four times that many points in the first half against East Hampton. So the Hawks come out with, I believe, their original starting five, which would be Spirits, Hoffman, Walkowitz, Richter, and Carey. Frontier will inbound as the Hawks move left to right to start the second half or to play the second half. And Hoffman to throw it in to Spirits. And that notice that big brace on Hoffman's right knee. I wonder if that's a new injury. Loud on the baseline to Carey. Carey tries to reverse layup. Well defended. We've got control by Frontier though. Spirits for three. Air ball. Carey the rebound. The put back. And a foul under the basket. It's going to be on one of the left-handers, probably Nate. And it was during the act of shooting, so Peter Carey will shoot two here. Actually, they're going to get uh, on that foul, Chad Bigos, his first, team's first. I knew there was a four and a two involved. Carey's first shot spins in. <laughs> it looked like it was going to pop out, but didn't. He'll get one more. And the second one's good, so he makes them both. 18-21. Palmer with the ball now for the first time in this half. Appetino now in the middle to Conico. Conico trying to work on Spirits, dishes it off right side. Three point front of the iron, no good by Bigos. Ends up back in the hands of Papacino. Papacino trying to spin. And with Tedder down. Back out to Papacino. Papacino, no look to the tender. Jumper in the paint is good. Had a great arc on that shot, does Nate Latender. And it's 23-18, lead back up to five. Spirits calling out the play. Bounce pass, top of the key. Richter, right side to Carey. Carey drives the baseline, reverse layup goes. Well, if you can get that kind of daylight, you can do that all day long. 23-20. Mechanico now, crosses half court. 
Vanek it up, top of the key. Three point bomb. Just unloaded it. And just like that, the lead's back up to six. Spearance now with it. Crosses half court. Left side to Carey. Peter Carey, pull up jumper in the paint, does not go. Hoffman the rebound, put back is good. Donovan Hoffman did a good job on the boards, being a little more aggressive on the glass, which Frontier wasn't in that first half. Papatino now gets spun around. Ends up in the hands of the tender who goes through strong, lays it up and in. Experience now with it. Carry. Left side it goes to Richter. Richter trying to hit carry in a give and go. And foul as they're going to get Papacino, I believe, on the push. Should be non-shooting. Under the basket, that's Papacino's first. Team second. Uh, Adam Frenier now had a little discussion with Nate Latender. Rather animated conversation. Latender might have given uh, Adam a little bit of a talking to. Robin, and it's going to be a foul, as that time I think they're going to get Latender. He's trying to box out Carey. And let's see who they post. It is, it's on Latender, his second, team's third. And it goes to Richter. Richter runs cross court. This is the Walkowitz top of the key. Walkowitz jumper just inside. The arc is good. And when Walkowitz, his first points. And the lead's back down to four. Pacino now being hassled by Spirance. Placanico trying to drive on Spirance. Jumper in the lane off the glass and in. What a play by Placanico right after Spirance. So that's a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Bears watching. Right side to Hoffman. On the Hawks, Hoffman tries to drive through. Foul on the way through. Not count that shot. And that's probably going to be on Placanico, I believe. Actually, it might be on uh, Bigos. Let's see what they get. It's on Bigos. Two on him, four on the team. Frontier has yet to commit a foul on this half. Inbound pass to Walkowitz. Running one-hander in the lane, no good. With a baseline. And now Walkowitz gets hung up with the tender. Foul's going to be on Owen. He is third, I believe. Nice well, second, actually. Team's first. Frontier's a little more aggressive, I think, in this half, and the foul the foul is starting to pile up for Palmer as a result of it. He goes now to Placanico. Placanico spins away from Spirits. Into the corner, it goes to Papacino. Papacino going to work on Walkowitz. Hook shot. Foul on the floor before the shot. It's going to be on Walkowitz, I believe. That's three on Owen, I think. And they're going to get him out of there. It is. And Dave Kaczynski will check in. The Congo throws it in, whistle. And they got a foul away from the ball, so. Not shy with the whistle are these refs. That's going to be on Kaczynski, who got hung up with one of the Palmer players, his first. Robbed out to the tender. A nice steal by Hoffman. Anticipated it well, lays it up, and cannot make the layup. Rebound control by Bigos. Bigos. This is on the baseline looking for the tender. Can't get him, and they're going to get a foul on Nate Latender. As he grabs Spirance. Both hit the floor, and that is three on it with Tender. 4.28 to go in the third quarter. Frontier still trailing by six. Spearance with it now. Left side to Gachinski. Gachinski goes cross court to Carey. Carey fakes the three. Inside to Richter. Turnaround J is good by Sean Richter. 30-26. Tender with it now. 
to Papasino. Papasino goes left side. Pull up jumper by Papasino is good. Spearance now. Ahead to Vichinsky. Back to Spearance to Richter. Richter at the foul line. Gets the spin. So both teams starting to heat up shooting wise. But Frontier's got to make a couple of stops here. Turn this lead. Papasino now with it to Jack the tender. Jack on the baseline it goes to Bastowitz. Reverse layup partially blocked. Uh, do they call goaltending on that one? No, out of bounds. It's still going to be Palmer ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Canico to inbound it. It's it back. Right side to Coleman just in. Coleman to Papasino. Mechanico got the shot off, but it did not hit the rim before the 30 seconds. So it's a shot clock violation. And they're going back the other way. 3-12 to go in the third. Front with the basketball trailing by four. Ian Spirance with it now. To Richter. Richter to Feeds carry in the middle, and it's going to be a foul, I think, on Coleman. As that is a mismatch size-wise. Spirance to throw it in. For Frontier. And I'm not sure what happened there, but turnover goes to Palmer. Mechanico now, being guarded by Spirance. Mechanico goes behind the back, nice move. This is off to Coleman, Coleman's jumper is blocked. And we're going the other way. And we're hitting a one and one on the other end. Let's see what the call is. They got Coleman, that's three on him. As they've put Coleman on carry, and that is a difficult assignment in, in any situation, but especially when you're giving away about five inches to the guy, which is what's happening here. Carry at the line. First shot does not go. Under the one and one is no good. And the rebound comes out to Palmer. Mechanico now with it. Driving on Gachinski. Mechanico off to Coleman. Coleman's jumper is an air ball. Rebound pulled down by Richter. Bed to carry. Out of bounds as Pocanico went back to grab it. And it is Frontier Basketball. Coleman's out with the three fouls. And back into the game is Bigos. And to carry. Carry. Jumper on the baseline is blocked by Masterless. What a play by Masterless. Up ahead to Masterless who lays it up and in. So getting it done on both ends of the floor. Blocking Peter Carey on the far end. Coming back and scoring the hoop. Hoffman riding through. Hook shot doesn't go. Almost did. The tender, that's Jack the tender, is going to call for the foul. Three fouls now on Jack the tender. Palmer's coach is not happy with the call. First shot goes for Donovan Hoffman. Chance to cut this lead to four again. Will it make here? Got it. Two eleven to go in the third quarter. We'll take the break. Palmer leads Frontier 34-30. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Palmer inbounding under their own basket. They lead by four, 34-30 to start. 2.08 to go in the third quarter. Placanico with it now. Being guarded by Gachinski. Placanico, jumper, front of the iron, no good. Gachinski, outlet pass to Carey. Peter, Carey. Oh, it looked like he traveled again, but got away with it that time. Hoffman's put back is no good. Hoffman goes back up, blocked. Put back again, no good. 
the tender with a nice block there, and he comes away with the ball. The tender on the baseline, and laying it up, no good. He goes, rebound controlled by Frontier. Aneski up the floor to Richter. Richter, pull up jumper, good! Richter's had the hot hand in this one tonight. Got 12 points, the Frontier in scoring. Mechanico now with it, driving on Gachinski and lays it up, no good. Aneski the rebound, Frontier can tire, take the lead. And what do we have here? A technical foul. Who did they get? I think it might have been on Masterliz. There was a lot of jack, uh, jaw jacking on the way up the floor and I think Masterliz might have said something to one of the officials, if it was him, or was it Placanico? That listed Placanico, so it's two shots on the ball for Frontier. First one does not go by Donovan Hoffman. Placanico is off the floor, so it was on him. Hoffman misses them both, Frontier gets the ball back. So that could have been in a game tying exchange and it was not. Chinsky to inbound. And now we've got a timeout on the floor. So what's going on with Donovan? And Donovan might have some blood on his nose, maybe. Checking into the game is Spirance. Chinsky to inbound in front of me. Throws it into Hanaski. Vanesky now, Gachinski top of the key. Richter kicks it outside. Spirins to carry to Hanesky. Three ball by Spirins does not go. Rebound control by Venny. Venny for Palmer, left side. Three ball by Bigos, ah, son of the iron, no good. Richter the rebound, now it to Hanesky. Hanesky to Richter, Richter. For three, no! Carry the rebound, carry. And he gets fouled on the way up. No, he traveled. Oh -ho. I'll tell you, they have defended Peter Carey as well as any team we've seen in the last two seasons, I think. Palmer came in with a game plan, and they have executed that game plan to make Peter Carey uncomfortable. And he has six travels and seven points. Eight points, excuse me. Bigos for three. Does not go. Carry the rebound. Shot clock's off. 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Haneski to Hoffman. Back to Haneski. Right side to Gabe. In the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman to Gachinski. Gachinski for three. No good. Out of bounds. And that will be the end of the third quarter. We have played three. From South Deerfield at the end of three, it's Palmer, 34, Frontier, 32. Fourth quarter action upcoming. Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extrememetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Fourth quarter upcoming. Palmer to inbound in front of me. As the Panthers lead 34-32. And they 
throw it in. To Bigos. Bigos. Left side to Venny for three. Misses badly. Rick to the rebound. Up ahead to Spirits. Spirits hands it off to Hoffman. Dehoff walks cross court to Carey. Carey being guarded and again travels. Oh, the tender has done a fantastic job on him. And the tender gives up at least three or four inches on Carey, and he has really defended him as well as anybody we've seen. Papasino now with it. To the tender. Back to Bigos. Bigos. Back out to Venny. Venny. Nice move. Lays it up and in. RV Venny. His first point of the game. Spirits. Bounce pass to Carey. Back to Spirits. Top of the key. Bounce pass to Hoffman in three point land. Hoffman's going to take it. He's going to miss it. Rebound controlled by Papasino again. Papasino driving up, lays it up, wave that off. Foul before the shot. And we will see who they get. 14th foul on Frontier, and it's going to be the second on Gabe Gachinski. Time on the floor will take the break. 6.54 to go in this one. Still within reach. Palmer 36, Frontier 32. This is Red Hawk basketball. Frontier Community Access Coverage. Palmer inbound under their own basket. Less than seven minutes to go, 6.54 to be exact. The tender throws in, that's Jack throwing it in to Chad Bigos. Bigos trying to go cross court. Over to Venny. Venny, nice move, going through, lays it up, no good. Well defended, but well played by Venny. Spirits now with it. And Spirits now. And a kick or the reset of the shot clock as Venny got a foot on it. Hoffman to inbound. To Spirits. Spirits to carry top of the key. To Hoffman. Hoffman pushed off. Offensive foul. No question about it. That was a forearm shiver on Bigos. And DeHoff gets his third. Two of those fouls have been offensive fouls. Tender now with it. Jack Latender crosses half court. Latender, deep three. Good! Oh man! Can he ever shoot? He's got 17 points in this game. Three threes. Carry now with it. Out to Gachinski. To Spirits. Spirits cross court to Gachinski. To Hoffman, 14 to shoot. No look pass into Richter. I'll tell you, these Palmer Panthers are swarming defensively. I mean, they are hungry, going after the ball. Every time, every chance that they can, they are absolutely interfering with any kind of rhythm that Frontier may have had offensively coming into this game. That's the 10th team foul. Richter will take two shots here. That's two fouls on Papasino. We got a couple of subs coming in for Frontier momentarily. First shot by Richter is good. Richter's had a nice night for Frontier. Got 10 points. Second shot does not go. And rebound control by Palmer. Lead is 6, 39-33. Benny now with it. To Bigos, back to Venny, the circle. Venny with it, left side to Bigos. Bigos, cross court, nine to shoot. Venny goes in strong, lays it up and in. Now Harvey's attacking the basket here in the second half. 41-33, leads back up to eight for Palmer with five to play. Jumper from the corner does not go. Hoffman tips the rebound out. To Richter in the middle. 
Left side to Haneski. Haneski to Hoffman. Dehoff for three. Does not go. Rebound pulled down by Venny. Five minutes to play. 41-33. Jack Latender now has it. Latender working on Richter. Trying to pull through. Inside it goes to Bigos. Bigos over Hoffman. Pops it. That's Chad Bigos' first point of this game. And just like that, the lead's up to 10. It's getting away from Frontier right now. Uh, Hernandez to Hoffman, travel. As Frontier looks tired, they're breaking down right now a little bit. Whereas Palmer appears to have, I don't know, gained some new energy here in this fourth quarter. They're defending very, very vigorously. Inbound it to Bigos. Bigos hands it off to Venny. Venny pulls back. Venny walks across court. Timeout on the floor. Palmer calls it, we'll take the break. 4.23 to go on this one. The lead is back up to 10. Palmer 43. Frontier 33. This is Red Hot Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, the Frontier Red Hawks are running out of time. It looked for a while there like they might claw their way back. They've trailed throughout this entire game, except for a couple of seconds in the first quarter. And they are in danger of dropping their first game of the season if they can't do something in the next four and a half minutes. Harvey Venny with it now. Harvey. Bounce pass to Papasino. Got bumped on the way through. Basket, the inbound, it's Hernandez to inbound, well, they got the call for the foul, and Jack Tender will inbound it for Palmer, it does. Now, Placanic, or Papacino rather, shot is no good, and shot up by Tender is blocked by Carey. 20 seconds to shoot, Palmer still has the basketball. Benny tries to go to elbow, and Benny gets it back. Kind of ragged right now. Three ball by Bigos is good. And that fires up the Palmer fans as the lead is now 13, largest so far. Hoffman trying to drive through, doesn't go. And we've got a lot of talking going on right now. The tender has been in the ref's face all night. Lucky he didn't get teed up there. Richter to Hoffman. Hoffman right side to Spirits. Spirits. Bounce pass to Hoffman on the baseline. Lays it up. Doesn't go. Put back. No good. Partially blocked. A lot of contact down low. No calls being made. And who did we get here? I think we get Hoffman on that one. It's a 17 foul. We're definitely shooting on the other end. It is Donovan off in its fourth. Chad Bigos to shoot. One and one. This one doesn't go. Hoffman the rebound. Outlet pass to Hernandez up ahead to Spirits. Spirits to Carey. Back to Spirits. Spirits to Hernandez. Spirits, Spirits for three, yep. 46, 36, now the trap is on. And they break it, Venny goes through, uh, trying to go coast to coast, traveled. So coming back into the game is Placanico. And it will be Bigos that will sit. 2.54 to go in the game, Frontier trails by 10. Spirance down, runs up the left side. Spirance to carry and high post. To Richter, Richter drives through and count it one! As he got popped on the way through by the tender. So Richter is having himself a night, a chance for a three point play, and a chance to cut this lead even more. That's four fouls on Jack Latender. Cut the lead to nine with the make here. He gets it. Yeah. 
Actually, it's trying to lead seven. 46-39. Up ahead to Vinny. Vinny, time out on the floor, will take the break. 2.37 to go in the game. Not done yet. Armor 46, Frontier 39. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. So the Frontier Red Hawks have not really been themselves tonight, but they're on their way to a comeback potentially here. A little more aggressive play, a little more tight defense. And they have been able to keep Palmer at bay a little bit here in the fourth quarter scoring wise. Gotta get some blocks and some makes here though. In the corner it goes. Three pointer is an air ball. Out of bounds though. And it will stay with Palmer as Spirance could not corral that rebound. Ball never hit the rim, so it'll be 16 seconds on the shot clock. Mechanico to inbound. Lobs it out deep to Vinny. Vinny with it, trying to drive through. Kicks it outside. Now driving through and laying it up and in is Nate Latender, who has done a job on Peter Carey tonight. Hoffman, top of the key to Spirance. Spirance for three, good! That's two threes for him in this half. The lead back down to six, 2.05 to go. Well, Three-quarter court pressure on right now. The tender trying to get it over half court. They finally do. Mechanico now with it. Less than two minutes to play. Upside to Vinny. Vinny spins away from Hoffman. On the baseline of the tender, air ball jumper. Spirance pulls it down. Up ahead to Carey. Carey drives through. Could not make the layup. Missed the finger roll. At some point, they're going to have to think about fouling some people here. Venny now pulls it back. Venny spins away, and that's going to be a hand check on Donovan. He's done. Hoffman will foul out of this game. He'll end up with six points. And that'll bring in Gabe Gachinski. So Dehoff could not get the three ball flying tonight. Frustrating night for him. Frustrating night for the entire Red Hawk team at this point. Benny's first one is no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Spirits. In Spirits now with it. Spirits trying to drive through. Gachinski for three. No! Carry the rebound. Lost control of it. Out of bounds. Still Frontier basketball. With 1.13 to play. 28 seconds on the shot clock. The quicker they make a bucket here, the better for Frontier. If they can do it off the, the pass in. Richter to Gachinski. For three to Hernandez. No good. And rebound pulled down by Placanico. Minute left. Placanico and Spirance has to foul him to stop the clock with a minute left. Six point lead for Palmer. And Tyler Placanico to shoot a one and one here. Third foul on Spirance. Mechanico's first one is good. He will get one more. Nice game being brought to you by attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Also by Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton and by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Second shot doesn't go, carry the rebound. That led to Spirits. Spirits trying to spin away, count the bucket, or excuse me, count the, count the foul, no shot. It's on the floor, it's gonna be two shots anyway. As Spirance will shoot. That's gonna be three fouls on Placanico. Spirance's first one is good. Let's make here and cut the lead to five. And he makes them both. 49-44, quick foul. 
as Lacanico tried to break away with it. That's going to be the 10th team foul and the fourth on Spirits. So Lacanico at the line. We're going to get Hineski up off the bench. Lacanico's first is no good. He'll get one more. Masterless is back in. And sitting down is Venny. And the second one goes. So Mechanical makes one of two. Kuczynski down with it. Kuczynski breaks away, lays it up off the glass. No good, out of bounds. Still Frontier basketball, fresh 30. 44.2 seconds on the game clock. It's still a potential three possession game. Venny back in, Masterless out. Throw in to Richter, to Gachinski, Hernandez, and knocked out of bounds. Still Frontier basketball. 38.8 on the game clock, 25 on the shot clock. So, barring a miracle, Hawks are going to lose their first game of the year. Timeout as sealing the ball on the inbound pass with Jack Latender, and they got the timeout. We'll take the break. 38.8 seconds left in this one. Homer by six. Panthers 50, Red Hawks 44. Red Hawk basketball in front of the access time. So Palmer will inbound under their own basket. They throw it in, and running it up is Lieutenant. He gets fouled on the way through. So we'll be shooting two here. And that's going to be three fouls on Kuczynski. And we get two shots for Jack Latender. Freshman, the lone freshman on a team that's largely senior laden. They've got three juniors, one freshman, and the rest are seniors. Jack is a talented freshman, let me tell you. He's going to be their leading scorer tonight and has shot from everywhere. Three threes. And has been instrumental in defending Peter Carey and pretty much keeping him a non-factor in this game. Makes both. 52-44, 34 seconds left in this one. They throw it in. Spirance now. Spirance. Kriachinski, deep three, way off base. Put back by Spirance is no good. He hits the floor. Hernandez ends up with it. Peter Carey, travel. Seventh travel of the game. Shot clock is off. Palmer's going to win this one. They could just dribble it out here if they wanted to. They throw into the backcourt. Benny with it. Benny is going to get fouled by Gachinski. That'll be four on him, so they do foul. And Harvey Venny. His name's Francis, but they call him Harvey. He is going to shoot two here. First one is good. Yeah. You'll get one more. And checking out of the game after just checking in briefly was Gary Brindle. Frontier. Second shot is good. Makes them both. Frontier, try to cut this lead back a little bit. It's now 10. Deep three, way outside by Hernandez is good. And a quick foul with 2.6 seconds left. And Jack Latender will get to shoot two on the end here. 
And that's, believe it or not, the first team foul, first foul on Richter. The tenders, first one is good. They'll get one more. Second shot is good. And that will do it. The final score from Goodenow Gymnasium, the Frontier Redhawks suffer their first defeats of the season, losing 56-47 to the Palmer Panthers. Jack Latender leading his team in scoring with 13 points in this one. And Sean Richter had a fine game for Frontier, leading the Red Hawks in scoring in, with 13 points as well. Uh, and a losing effort for the Hawks. Fall to two and one on the young season. Well, that'll do it. This broadcast of Frontier Red Hawk basketball for Megan Self and Alec Eckler, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. And Chris Collins, the final score for the final time. Our Panthers 56, and Frontier Red Hawks 47. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching Frontier Community Access Television.